my name is Jackie Lawrence and I am a independent stamping up demonstrator in the UK at jackiestampingdreams.co.uk. I live in Suffolk and I'm on the Suffolk Norfolk border and I teach um, classes of card making and also sell the products that I use. Today I'm going to be um, showcasing a lovely suite from Stampin' Up! called the Dandy Garden Suite and I'm going to be showing you how to make a couple of cards. Anyway, I'm going to put you down onto my desk and we'll get crafting. So in this suite we have the Dragonfly Garden um, uh, stamp set. I'm just going to bring this out. That's it. Um, so you can see the images. So we've got a couple of dragonflies on there, um, some um, foliage, you know, like sort of meadow flowers with daisies and some butterflies and some lovely um, sentiments in there as well in a beautiful font. These are a red rubber cling stamp and it coordinates with the um, dragonfly builder punch. And you've got the larger dragonfly and the smaller one there. Next we have um, some mossy green um, twine. It's a little bit thicker than the linen thread. Um, perfect for tying bows and wrapping round. So that's in mossy meadow. Then we have these gorgeous ladybirds. Um, little embellishments. Um, I think they're called ladybugs in the um, in North America, but here in the UK we called them ladybirds. So they're absolutely gorgeous. And then we have the designer series paper, and this comes in a a um, designer series paper stack of forty eight sheets, and they're six by six inches. So we've got some beautiful papers there. Um, foliage, um, bees and dragonflies and on the other side they're a bit more muted designs. So this is the card I'm going to be showing you how to make today. Um, this is called an easel card and I have used other colours and other designer series papers in this sample but I will be showing you um, how to make this with the um, Dandy Garden papers. So I'll just put that there. So first of all, you're going to need a paper trimmer and your card stock. Now this is an A5 um, base card. Um, for the North Americans, just use your base card and I've scored that in half. So what you're going to do is you're going to need to um, put your card in the short edge up. And then I'm going to cut a line at 11 and a half centimetres. And that is four point, uh, sorry, four and a quarter um, inches for North America and I'm just going to line my um, my cutting blade up with this central light score line here and on this um, stamping trimmer you've got a guideline either side of the handle so it is quite easy to, um, to, to line that up with your with your central line so that is at 11 and a half, and then I want to do it at three and a half as well centimeters, and that is one and one quarter inches. So just making sure that I'm up against that line. Okay, let's slap those two down, and then I want to score on my middle panel and I'm going to score that in half and I think I worked that out at five centimeters oh I know I've cut it try not to cut your um 
your your um, line. Hopefully that will be okay. I might have to put some tape on that. So yes, yeah, so your so your score line is um, at five point three. Going to um, glue. these end these end flaps down with just a little bit of tom, tombow on both sides Next we have some elements um, for gluing on, so um, for the two sides I've got a strip, two strips of um, basic white, so the strips of basic white are 3 by 10 centimetres which is 1 inch by 4 inches and then I've chosen some green designer series paper and that's 2.5 by 9.5 centimetres and three quarters by three and three quarter inches. And then I'm just going to glue these on to the sides. So what you're aiming for is just a small border all the way round. Okay, and what I love about the Tom bow glue is that you've got a little bit of wiggle room before it dries. Okay. And then I'm just going to glue on the on a series paper so you can choose whatever series paper you know pattern paper you would like and then whatever direction you want your pattern to go into and then they just get both glued in like so Okay, so that's your two side panels. Next we can glue our middle panel and that's basic white and that's 7.3 by 10 centimetres which is 4 inches by 2 and 3 quarter inches. So that can go in the middle there. making sure that that is a nice border again and then we want to just decorate this bottom flap here so again I've got some basic white and that's 7.5 by 4.7 and a half centimeters so it's just beyond the 4.7 centimeters and that is two and three quarters by one and seven eighths of an inch. And then also designer series paper is seven by 4.2 and a half centimeters, which is two and a half by one and five eighths of um, inches. So again, just putting a little dab of glue on there. And then that can go down like so. And then I've chosen a slightly different um, designer series paper to my panels, but still with the same colour. So this is sort of a foliage on there. But as I say, you can choose whatever side you like. And this is what I love about the Stampin' Up 
products is that everything color coordinates. You've got your color families as well. Um, so there, you know, you know that all the color, different colors are going to match perfectly. So there is our flap decorated like so. Next, I've cut out two um, scallop circles in Blackberry Bliss again, and two straight edged or round edged um, circles from the circle layering dies. So the large one can be glued to the larger scallop one, and then we'll do a little bit of stamping. So again, just manoeuvring that so that you've got um, an even border around there. Okay, so I'll put that to one side. So I've got the smaller circle and I've got a piece of grid paper and I'm going to stamp the flowers absolutely beautiful meadows flowers now it's up to you what you'd like to stamp them in i'm going to use stays on because i'm going to color in using the ink from the ink pad um, but you could use um, your memento black um, if you wanted to color in with your blends but don't use stays on with your blends because they're both um, got alcohol rubbing alcohol in them so um that will bleed but if you want to do any watercolour in then stays on is is the one that you want to use so I'm just going in there with the flowers absolutely gorgeous um, when you're using stays on there is a little plastic lid um, or additional lid and always make sure that you put that in otherwise because the ink you know dries up very quickly and that's the same with your blend pens if you're using your blend pens don't leave them with the cap off because they will dry out so I'm just adding a little bit more flour to the sides like so and then you've got these beautiful flowers. I'm just going to bring that camera in slightly so you can see. Absolutely gorgeous. So let's just put the cap on for that. So the colours that I'm going to be using is Blackberry Bliss, Bumblebee and Mossy Meadow. So I've chosen the colours. Um, from the, the papers and I've got my water painters and these come in a pack of three in three different sizes uh, so all I've done is um, I've put some water in the chamber and I like to just go on the back of my hand to get that water coming through. And then what you can do before you um, open your lid is really give a firm squeeze of your pad. If that doesn't work, because um, you want to get the color into your lid, you can dab this onto a, um, onto a stamping block like that and get your ink that way as well. Or you could use your re-inkers. Um, so anyway, I've already got some colour in here. So I'm just going in with my my water brush, and I'm just colouring in these leaves. And you can go down the stem as well. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, obviously, you can take more time when you're doing your colouring in. 
but just doing all those leaves there and then I've gone up and done a little bit of the stem as well and then just going into into the bumblebee just clean that off you might want to use tissue paper or kitchen roll whatever you've got to hand and then I'm just painting the daisies or the little flowers. I don't know if they're daisies. I'm not very good at my flowers. So just giving some colour. Like so. There you go. Oh, what am I there to do? And then lastly, I'm going to go in with some Blackberry Bliss. So you don't want a lot of colour. And these are just the little flowers. I think they're flowers, or you could have them green. Not quite sure what they are. I just thought that that would give a bit of a little bit more colour to your to your design. Okay. So there's the flowers there. Oops, got a bit of glare. Absolutely gorgeous. What you could as well is go round with a blue to give a little bit of blue sky if you wish as well. So next I'm going to glue on our um, scallop layer. So again, just a little bit of Tombow. Like so. And then with this circle, I'm going to layer that up with stamping dimensionals. Now this is nearly the end of these dimensionals so I'm just using the outer edge so don't waste it I can just pull that apart actually I'm making sure that you do the bit of the center as well because you don't want the um, you don't want the circle to sag and then I'm just using some tweezers to uh, manoeuvre these backings. I'm sure there's an easier way of doing this. Trying to pull the other dimensionals off with it. Okay, just the last bit, that's it, okay. And then that can be put on the top like that. Looking perfect. So now we need to glue our circle on and you only want it on this bottom half of the circle. So just a bit of dab of glue and then that can go on like that. Oops. So I've just got a little bit of the, um, the designer series paper showing. You could go up high if you wish. I think I went up slightly higher on this one okay but that's perfect and then any if you do get any excess glue that can just be wiped away so now we need to do our um, stamping and punching the greeting 
So for that, I'm going to use um, the double oval punch, which is in the January to June uh, mini catalogue. And I'm pleased to say that that is actually um, going to um, carry over to the new catalogue. If you haven't already been onto the Stamping Up website, do have a look. We've got some fantastic offers on um, some of the um, products that we're going to be saying goodbye to. It's always sad this time of year when we've got a new a new um, catalogue that we have to say goodbye to some um, products we really love. Now, um, I'm going to put for a true friend, whereas on this one, I did You Are An Inspiration. And then I'm just going to cut this out. You just have to be a bit aware of where you're actually cutting, uh, stamping your card that you don't go too far in the middle like I've done. Otherwise, you're going to have problems when you're putting your punch in. Okay, right. I'm going to have to cut that little bit off. There you go. So that can go down like, like that. And then I'm going to just use another piece of Blackberry Boost to punch the larger oval. that can be glued on. Like that. And then again, this can be put on with your dimensionals. And then that can just go oops, like that so that your card will stand up by getting hooked under that oval. So that's absolutely lovely, loving this. Okay, the next thing you need to do is grab your Blackberry Bliss card again. And I just want to um, punch a couple of the dragonflies. You could actually use, let's have a look at some of the designer series paper. Um, actually, I think I might do a... Bumblebee Dragonfly as well. And then that can be glued with just a little bit of glue. Don't need a lot. Just get my tweezers. So that looks fantastic in the um, in the uh, bumblebee. And then we can have another dragonfly up like that. Oops. A little bit too much glue on there, but never mind, that will dry clear. And then I'm just going to finish off with some um, Wink of Stella. This is absolutely great. It's like um, glitter in a brush. So you can go over your 
your flowers. Now the camera won't bring up how sparkly this will, this will be. And then when you've finished with your um, your Winter Stella, you know when it when all the glitter has gone, don't throw it away because you can unscrew it and then make it into a water painter brush. And you'll probably get some remnants of the glitter that's still in there as well. So when you do your painting, it look, it look really lovely. And then just to finish off the card, I'm going to use some jewels. And we've also got to use the twine as well. So I'm just going to bring in one of my favourite tools. This is Take, take a Pick Tool. Um, when you get the tool, you get two putty heads and you get a um, double-ended um, embossing tool. And you can also get a, um, a palette and a, um, a picking tool. You can also buy a um, die attachment on there as well. And I've now got two of... Um, the tools so that I've got one with my pricking tool and my brush so it's always handy for when I when I use my die cutting machine and my dies so I'm just going to use the putty end and slide that jewel off and then that can go in the middle of my dragonflies like that and then I'm going to tie a bow using the Mossy Meadow twine. Like that. And then I keep a separate pair of snips for my ribbon. So this, this set of snips doesn't get used, doesn't get used on paper. And then I'm going to use some um, glue dots to attach my ribbon or my bow, should I say, like that. And then using the pointy end of the take a pick tool, another glue dot, and I think I'm going to have a ladybug just on that corner there. Okay, that's come out. And there is our card finished. Anyway, I'm going to bring you back to me. I hope you like the card that I've made and I have inspired you with the um, with the um, Dandy Garden uh, Suite. It is absolutely gorgeous. So if you'd like to place an order, then please do contact me. Um, details will be at the end or... Um, contact your local um, Stamping Up demonstrator. But, you know, if, if you need any help with anything, then please do let me know. Anyway, all that's left for me to say is thank you for joining me. Don't forget to hit the um, subscribe button so that you are notified of any um, uh, new videos that I upload and especially hit that bell button and then you'll get your notifications for anything new that I, that I do. Um, anyway, thank you for joining me. Take care and I'll look forward to crafting with you soon. Keep safe and keep crafting. Bye.